Hello guys, welcome to Swift Programming Language Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how we can uh, start a Swift Programming Language in Apple. Uh, so, actually I have uh, built my environment. Uh, I have installed the Xcode 6.0 beta. Okay, and uh, also uh, the Apple. Mac 10.10 YOSEMIT. You can uh, I think uh, you can also install uh, the export six uh, on the 10.9.5 uh, called Mavericks. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's here is the option get started with the playground. If you want to use, uh, if you want to make uh, the application or uh, test applications, you can create the playground application. Okay. Let's get started with the playground. Uh, I'll save it on my desktop called Playground. Create. Okay, uh, the playground is created, and uh, here is the basic example is loaded at uh, the import Coco and where string equals to playground. Okay, guys. Today I'm gonna show you uh, how we can use uh, constant and variable declarations. Okay. Uh, first of all, let me remove this. Okay. And also this one also. Suppose uh, I would like to create a constant variable uh, by using the Swift programming language. Okay. So uh, I hope you guys uh, know about the constant variable. If a constant variable, that means you have to uh, initialize it once okay you can assign the value uh, when you declare it after that you cannot change the value of a constant variable okay in the programming in the Swift programming language you can use the keyword let okay let my age I'm gonna assign my age is 21 okay uh, you don't need to uh, give it a semicolon at the end of the line to terminate uh, it will automatically adjust okay uh, and the output will uh, get on the right side uh, like this 21 suppose now I'm gonna change or I'm just use my age my age variable okay uh, it will automatically displace the value but uh, if I uh, assign the value or uh, to change uh, it will throw an error like this okay cannot assign to let value my age that means uh, at once you can create the constant variable which cannot be changed after initialization okay now uh, how we can create the simple variable you can also create by using the where type where uh, my age sorry my age is equals to 21 okay uh, and after that uh, I can also change the value of my age my age is equals to 41 okay see uh, the value is automatically get updated okay and uh, here's the one most important thing uh, you don't need to specify any data type uh, for this variable uh, the Swift programming compiler will automatically decide what kind of data we are going to assign in that suppose after initializing it 21 uh, let me set the int value okay I'm gonna uh, change the value uh, by string hello okay so it will choose an error that you cannot do like this right so uh, just write your variable and uh, assign the value and if you want to uh, assign the data type uh, you can do like this column and int okay at once you can declare your own data type right after that uh, in uh, the below line you can uh, include the value related to the integer okay okay after that uh, you can also use like uh, integer 
32 okay or integer 64 okay but the uh, if you write the programming just follow the integer because uh, when we uh, merge the code of uh, the two different systems one is 32 bit and one other is 64 bit it will get a little bit complex a little bit problems so uh, the best programming uh, to do uh, to use the only int variable okay only in data type it will get automatically according to your pc structure like uh, if your pc is uh, 64 bit it will take the 64 bit values otherwise it will take the 32 bit right i hope you guys have um, understood the uh, declaring of variable oh and the one more important thing Okay, uh, right now uh, I, would, I don't want to uh, consider that in this tutorial. We're gonna uh, add uh, the emojis on the next video tutorial. Uh, the Swift programming language also provides the facility to use the Unicode characters as a variable name. Okay, uh, but let's uh, do that in our next video tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching.